bad way to start off the day. A little bit of a monsoon. Hmm. It's not looking very good up there. The whole entire tree fell down. It's starting to slow down, but yeah. You should have seen it. Got him. No way. I got one. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I got one. Oh, it's a bass. Oh no, it's a rock bass. I'll take it. Alright. There we go, guys. Rock bass. Boom. Here we go. Nice rock bass. Keeper. Here we go. Oh, it's a largy this time. Uh, Argy in the yak. Boat flip. Oh, yeah. Nice little pounder. Chunker. Not bad. Another one on the net. Boom shakalaka. Canal's doing me good right now. <sighs> oh no. I just missed one. Dang it, guys. Oh, there we go. Nice hit. There we go. Oh, it's not another bass. Smaller than the last one. But uh, it's a bass though. On a net rig. Boom. On fire right now. Had a really nice bass earlier, but that one came off. Not on the nut ring though, that one was on the spinnerbait. That's gotta be one right there. That was a good cast. I think this one's gotta be a fish, man. That was a perfect cast. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, no, I missed him. Dang it. Try and get a good cast again. I think that was okay. We'll find out in a second.
Oh, there we go. Something grabbed it. There we go. Come on. Oh, it's a nice bass. Nice bass. Oh. Nope, it's actually... Big. You know, it's big old rock bass, actually. Oh, that's a really big rock. Might be bigger than that bass. Oh! Look at the size of this one. Holy. Mm. Oh. That's a big old rocky bass. Boom. Put him on the string, huh? There's a keeper. I was just saying, man. I better get eat. That's a nice one right here, guys. Holy cow. This, my friends, is a good one. They don't have eggs right now, so... I don't know why this guy's belly is so freaking big. Oh, my lord. Chill. It's a nice one. Alright, guys. So, how do you fillet a rock bass? Well... Um... The first thing that you need to do is... Well, first, take them off the stringer, obviously. Like that, and then you have to dispatch of them. Trust the hammer does a trick. And once you dispatch them, you just fillet them just like any other fish, or kind of like uh, bluegills or walleyes. You go right behind that fin right here. You see that? Yeah. And you push down with your knife make sure you have a sharp knife for these because these guys scales are really tough and go right around the gill plate up to the top of the head right there and then put your hand down right here and follow right along the backbone and then poke through right at this fin right here just like that and then bring that knife just like this right out and through and then should look about like this when you're there to this point then you're going to just work your way right down the spine up into those ribs and then once you get to that rib cut off because the ribs don't want the meat right there because that's belly meat and once you cut into the belly it can mess up the meat and things like that and it should look like this after you're done one side at least and then you have this nice fillet right here and then you skin them just like a bluegill. You just go like this. And just like a bluegill or you would a walleye or whatever. Um, boom. And you're left with this. Throw that away. And you have this nice piece of meat here, but the thing with rock bass, that's a little different than other fish. Walleye have this, but uh, the smaller ones, they don't really have pin bones. But the bigger ones, they have pin bones, which are a little bone that goes right down the, this little line right here. See that line right there, guys? It goes right down there. And that is what you need to cut out on these fish. But this, this is a smaller rock bass, like an eight incher, so you don't really need that. But once you get up to these big boys, like this one, like this guy is like a, I don't know, 13 incher. All right, this, this, or I mean like a 12 incher. This one, you're gonna need to take out the pin bones because they got those big shoulders and they're gonna have the pin bones. You can actually see the line right here on this fish. Um, see that line right there? Yep that's the pin bones that you're gonna have to cut out but on this fish it has that line 
but it's not as defined. And that's why you don't need to put out pin bones. Fill up a thing of cold water with some salt in that water. Take the blood out. Set your fillets in the water. Get all that blood off and let it sit for about, I don't know, 10 hours in that water and you're good to go. And that's how you fillet rock bass. All right, we're going to taste test the rock bass right now. Um, the meat looks really good. It's uh, very flaky. Looks pretty much like bluegill. Tastes just like bluegill. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised because it's a panfish, but tastes just like bluegill or perch. Has a little bit of a different texture, but still very flaky. I mean, obviously, you have to cook them the right way. Cooked them just the same way as those white perch. Go back to that one video if you want to see how I cooked them. Excellent. We know they're done when you see they're golden like that, golden crispy like that. They're done, ready to be, ready to be eaten. Smaller pieces obviously take a lot less, but that's why I cut them up like this. I get a 13 inch rock bath today and cut that into four pieces. Get a couple pieces just like this. A little bite size. Okay. Well, yeah, that's got to conclude our video for today. Um, that's, I guess, rock bass tastes really good. And we're going to continue keeping them. And see you guys on the next video.